I've been out here for days. No sword, no armor, no... What? What? What is that? I was beginning to think climbing this mountain was a waste of time. Trade stuff here. Naturally occurring merchant. Hello, young traveler. Um, hi. Have you anything to trade? Um, t two pieces of dirt. That may get you something. Well, what I'm really kind of looking for is a pickaxe. Well, why don't you find out what I have? Okay. Well, how ironic. Thank you, naturally occurring merchant. No problem, young traveler. Hello again, Josh here, and welcome back to another mod showcase. Today I'm going to be showcasing the, <coughs> the custom villagers mod, which just allows you to create your own custom trades. So this is what you need to do to set this up. So basically, um, this is just for an example, if you put down a diamond block, I believe that makes your villager invincible except being killed by players, but don't take my word for that, so then you just gotta set up all the villager trades in here, and then spawn the villager near the chest. And I have five custom trades set up in this chest right here, so I'll be right back when I have all the trades set up. Okay, so I have all the trades set up in that chest, and then if you have the chest on diamond block with the trades set up, and by the way, you need to have the trades set up like this, like the first item you're going to have for trades set up here, and then the other item down here, leaving a space in between. So now, if I spawn this villager next to the chest, I check out his trades. Okay, you can range the trades from the it's seemingly worth it like this, Nether Star for a stack of iron ore, to the weird ones like a creeper head for a creeper head, to the ones that are just plain unfair, like a block of emerald for a half durability wooden pickaxe, a dark oak sapling for a diamond chest plate, which is an overly worth it trade. A lucky block with zero luck for a very lucky block with a hundred luck is another very worth it trade. And trades that just don't make sense, like trading a pumpkin for a pufferfish. So... <laughs> now I'm just going to set up some funnier trades, and I'll be back in a second. Wait, before I get to the trades, there's a fact I forgot to mention. As with all other spawn eggs, you can rename this in an anvil. So let's just go with... There, Derpy Tom. So now on to the trades. Just, okay. So I also have all of the trade items set up right here. Let me just get rid of these. So, now I have trade items set up here, so let's get to trading. Alright, so the first thing we have here is a block of coal for a stack of coal, because why not? That seems like a trade a villager would come up with, I don't know. A very unlucky block for a diamond sword, because why not? A slime ball for a sticky piston. Cocoa beans for a bucket of milk. A lot of these I just kind of came up with on the fly. And a currently impossible trade bedrock for a block of diamond. I don't know why I had that other block of diamond. Don't ask. Anyways. So like I said before, you set up the trades like this. And also, I tried doing this so it would be like two items would equal for one trade. just want to mention that does not work. That only happens with naturally spawning villagers. So, you know, just a good point to add. So that about does it for this mod showcase, and I will see you guys next time. Adios!